Frank, a representative of the Concerned Parents Coalition, BJ Kozell, stopped by. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having and me. And BJ, you are a part of a coalition. You guys have been very instrumental in getting uh, Superintendent Marian Martinez removed. Can you tell me what kind of went into that? Well, as we all know, there have been many concerns regarding the city school district. A lot of problems that have developed over the years and um, where the coalition really began was just a, a small group of parents that were concerned. We shared ideas, we shared the issues that our kids were facing and what we've heard that the teachers and the administrators had been dealing with. And so we started this petition really to take action. Um, we had reached out um, in order to get some communication and, and that seems to have been the common theme throughout the last few months is that there hasn't been communication from our former leader and um, with that we decided to take action with the petition. The petition itself started a, roughly four weeks ago um, and we already have 735 supporters with over 8,000 views on change.org. So what it quickly became was um, involvement from not only parents but teachers, administrators, community members that were concerned on what was going on within the district. Now your efforts have obviously uh, had an impact. Yesterday uh, they announced that interim superintendent Stephen Dinehart would be stepping in as of Monday. Mm -hmm. What are you guys wanting him to do as he takes this position? Well, first off, we couldn't be happier with the choice. The board really came through for the entire community by appointing Steve Dinehart to that position. Um, you know, now the, the, the focus really shifts to uh, moving forward in a positive way. Um, as I said, communication has always been an issue um, while our former leader was here. And so now I, what I assume will happen um, and what we're, what we're confident will happen is that Mr. Dinehart will create an open dialogue. In fact, I know he's already reached out to different groups from within the community. And what that will look like is parents, teachers, administrators, students, community members, um, members of the city of Binghamton working together to, to help solve some of the problems that we see within the district. So I'm sure that he'll have a short term and a long term goal in mind and um, uh, knowing Mr. Dinehart, um, he's gonna initiate and he's gonna execute on these very, very quickly. Great, well thank you so much for speaking with us. If you guys are interested in getting involved, you can go to their page at change.org which is located right down on our screen and uh, we'll be hearing more from you all soon. Excellent, and one thing that I'll add is that our goal now is that We've always thought that the city schools are the flagship district of the southern tier. And over the last three years, it really hasn't been the case. So uh, our goal now is to move together as a community and uh, get us back to where we believe we deserve to be, which is, again, the flagship district within the southern tier of New York. Excellent. So, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Frank?